In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, chat widget customization. So uh, in my previous video, I've covered a specific segment on creating a chat widget uh, within Dynamics 365 customer service owning channel. Uh, now, there are many things which we can configure within uh, Dynamics 365 customer service only channel chat widget. So one of the thing is uh, the title and the subtitle. You know, now, as you see over here, now this is the first part, you know, like this is the first part, second part, and the third part. This is how the chat gets loaded in your website. Now, here you can see this icon, okay? Here you can see the text, let's chat, we are online, okay? Uh, the shape of the widget. And once someone clicks on it, uh, uh, a like a, this interface will get loaded with say orange color in in this case and this is how the chat widget will uh, load you know and within here you will see that attachment here you will see a download icon here you will see that agent has been assigned so this is all uh, which gets you know like rendered within the chat interface now these all things are configurable okay now as you see title and subtitle yes we can configure title and subtitle over here the theme color uh, the theme color is the say orange i can change that color to blue you know uh, agent display name now here garish has been assigned has been shown over here so i can show either a first name last name full name uh, nickname you know those sort of things i can display uh, for the agent uh, widget position of this widget position when it was triggered it was shown on the bottom right but if I want to show on the bottom left, I can even do that. Uh, proactive chat, like uh, before we, before even the customer start responding to the chat or start the chat, uh, I can put a good morning message, you know? So those all things I can set up as a part of the chat widget. Uh, reconnect to the previous chat. If the chat has been lost previously, then I can also provide a facility to uh, connect to the re -pre uh, previous chat so that the customer need not repeat the things which the customer has said uh, in the previous conversation. Configure widget during operating hours. So this widget will be uh, enabled during the operating hours only or not, or it will show during 24 by seven uh, time, or I can configure show widget on provided domain. So I can restrict the rendering of the chat uh, based on the domain uh, through which it is loaded. Okay, so these all customization can be achieved using this particular uh, application. Okay, now as you see in the chat, now I've already pre-configured this chat information, so I don't want to do that again. But here, if you see, say one of the chats, the chat garish. Okay, now if I go and edit this particular chat, I will be uh, presented with a screen of, uh, say, configuring chat-based information. Now, as you see over here under chat widget, I can put the title, you know, let's chat. Okay, so let me put something as like, uh, Garish chat interface, okay, something like that, okay. Subtitle, uh, we are ready to serve you, okay. And uh, theme color, now if I'm not happy with orange, maybe let me pick, say, teal color. Okay, or I can put clay, purple, brown, violet, whatever I want, but from this limited uh, palette. Now, logo URL, now this is already coming from some uh, specific uh, system. Uh, this is an SVG file, so uh, I don't want to make that change as of now, but this all things can be configured, okay? So I'll keep this as of now. Uh, now, the agent display name, I want it to be, say, maybe the first name or the full name. Okay, let me put it as a nickname, okay, for me. Uh, and the widget position is bottom right. Uh, let me put it on the bottom left, okay. Proactive chat is on. So proactive chat indicates that it lets you send a triggered messages to customers based on rules you set in your code, okay. So here you can uh, set up some proactive uh, chat messages, okay. Uh, you can reconnect to the previous chat, as I mentioned to you. Uh, you can show widget during operating hours, okay? Now, uh, this is the operating hours which I've created. That's why this widget is showing during the operation hours. Okay, and if you're offline, then you can put some message, okay? Uh, I can put, say, Gerish is not available. And I can put uh, no, no agents available to serve your request and maybe i can be more polite and say sorry you know 
and then theme color is a uh, maybe purple at that time okay so and here only show widget on provided domain so if i click on on then i can specify what uh, domain i should put so i can say girish purple so, dot com okay uh, and then i say add domain url and i can so on and so forth i can add multiple domains so if i add google.com domain i can say that okay this is good okay like this i can provide those information but i'm not going to make use of all these things i'm just turn it off okay and i'll just click save and close now this is the basic information which i have you know like configured in the chat channel okay now again going back to the chat channel uh, click on edit i will take that code okay i will take this code uh, and then of the chat widget i'll copy this code okay so this is what i copied now now here in visual studio i've already opened this uh, interface uh, where uh, i have copied this chat code i will take the old code i will paste with the new one and i'll just say control s now let me trigger this and see whether the changes are persisted or not uh, it might take a while it won't be available immediately but as you see over here now that has come on the right hand side uh, sorry on the left hand side from the left hand uh, from the right hand side now yes it's a teal color if i click here and if you see the title get us chat you know and we are ready to serve you those all things are changed over here and now this is how my chat is getting triggered so here you see Giresh chat interface um, here you can type a message you know and then it's a Giresh has been assigned so see Giresh chat interface now this is the same setting which we did over here Giresh chat interface we are ready to serve you teal color so that's it folks this is how you configure the chat widget you can customize many things but uh, it's still limited but you need to make sure that you are doing it properly because as you saw in the title the chat interface was too long you know and the widget was too small so make sure all those ui elements uh, are taken care of while building those chat module thanks for watching